is the simple present. You use the simple present for future, but when do we, we already know what the simple present looks like, we studied it, but when? When do we use it for future, right? We use it for scheduled future events, okay? So when, when do we use this? Scheduled events, scheduled events into the future. Okay, so you guys have the, uh, you have this, the workshop schedule, right? All of these are happening in the future, right? But I can look at it, I can say, oh, there's a, um, there's a thesis statement workshop um, next Wednesday. It starts, oh. yeah. The workshop starts next Wednesday at 5. Why am I using simple present to talk about next Wednesday in the future? Because it's, something that it's a schedule. Scheduled. It's a scheduled event. So when it's scheduled, you can use simple present. Okay. When do we use schedules? When do we use schedules? Well. Concerts, right? Or just events. Sorry. Any events. event, yeah. yeah. Events, so like parties are usually scheduled, right? Classes. Class, good. Classes. What is the first one? Cons Concerts. 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 What else is scheduled? Appointments. Appointments, good. Appointments. Uh, what about um, trains, airplanes, b boats? Buses, right? So planes, trains. These things are on schedules, right? Mm -hmm. So I have to catch the bus. It arrives at 5.30. It leaves at 5.30, 5.30. So I have to catch the bus, right? Or, you know, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Um, I see my doctor at 3. I see my doctor, simple present, tomorrow at 3. Uh, my class meets, meets tomorrow at 2 o'clock, right? You see what I mean? If it's, a, if it's a scheduled event, you can use simple present to talk about future. You guys knew that? Okay. All right. Well, it's very useful to use. Use the simple present to talk about scheduled events. Okay. Finally, the last one is the future progressive. And then I'll let you guys practice because we only have five minutes. Okay. Yeah, the future progressive. Future progressive. Okay, so what does it look like? Like this, for example. We'll be taking. We'll be taking, we'll be taking a quiz tomorrow at 3.50. So the future progressive is will plus be plus verb ing. So three parts, okay? Or it can also be we are going to be taking. So, you can use will or you can use be going to, be going to plus be, right, plus verb ing. Okay? Yeah, so this is be going to and you always need be before you use progressive. If it's past progressive, you always use be, right? If it's present progressive, you always use be. If it's future progressive, you have to use be. But this is always base form. You don't change it because after two, you need base form, right? So we will, we will be taking, this is the future progressive, okay? Okay? So. You just need to know 
that it will and be going to like we learned, but we also need be base form. Always base form. Don't change it. Base form. Base form. Always. Plus verb ing. But when. When. Okay. Now, look at my sentence. We will be taking a quiz tomorrow. But I didn't just say tomorrow. I said at 3.15. So when you have a specific time in the future and you want to focus, right, you want to zoom in and look at what will be happening in progress at that time, right? So here's when we use it. To talk about what will, what will be in progress, right? So actually, what will be in progress at a specific time in the future. So now we're talking about future. Tomorrow at 3.50. I'm not just saying we will take a quiz. I'm zooming in on that time and I'm focusing on what will be in progress at that time. And it will probably continue into the future, okay? All right, at 6.35, what's going to happen at 6.35 in two minutes? We will be walking out. We will be leaving. See? You don't just say we will leave. I want you to talk about what will be in progress at that exact moment. Do you see the difference?